Our first competitor is ready to take on Tournament 27's first stage. This is KFly 2K. The newcomer coming to us from the US of A will have 100 seconds on stage one, the longest time limit this stage has ever had. He is on the step slider right now, returning from Tournament 17, but this time it features Halo Infinite's grapple shot. Can he get the grapple? Yes, he can. KFly lands low on the dismount, but he is on to the brand new gear grind. This obstacle, very simple in design. This transition, you actually have to go to the right and he does it very well. And these are very thin gears. You have to stay perfectly centered. KFly does it nicely. Now he is on to the returning turret jumps. Back for the first time since tournament six. We have not seen jumpers hop across turrets in a very long time. But this tournament, we are going old school. And KFly going a little bit slow on the turrets, but he's getting across them. He's getting a jump on each one and he grabs them all successfully. He is on to the jump Hankai, a famous HNW obstacle. He gets into it very nicely, but he is a little low on time right now, which considering the fact that he's going around the outside, he is going to be hurting for time after this obstacle. He's down to 30 seconds. KFly needs to move. He is taking his time with the dismount. He finally goes for it and he's got it. He is on to one of the most dangerous obstacles in Halo Ninja Warrior history. He tries to do it like a warped wall. That does not work. KFly, he's lining it up. He goes for it. And KFly is our first crooked wall victim and the first competitor out on stage one. And welcome back to Halo Ninja Warrior. Today, we begin the second tournament on Halo Infinite, Tournament 27. In the last tournament, our competitors had to adapt to a brand new game, and some acclimated better than others. With only two competitors reaching Stage 3 in Tournament 26, we are hoping to see a surge in success from our 100 competitors this tournament. And our second competitor to go is the worker of meme another newcomer here in tournament 27 a canadian competitor he is on to the step slider this is the fifth time we have seen the step slider in halo ninja warrior 206 people have attempted it and 168 have cleared it make that 169 the worker of meme is now on to the gear grind hopping across the first gear nicely and goes straight to the second one and Worker of Meme going for the dismount. Yes, he's got it. Now for the turret jumps. We've had one competitor attempt this before him. He cleared it. KFly was able to clear it. So let's see if Worker of Meme can make this two for two on the turrets. Yes, he can. Now he is on to the jump Hankai. Nice bounce right there. Worker of Meme going on the right side. On the outside, we've seen both competitors so far stick to the outside. But Worker of Meme is on a much better pace than KFly was. Now for the Crooked Wall. Can he be the first to clear it on Infinite? Worker of Meme with a slide, but he's got it. Now the dismount. Worker of Meme is on to the Warped Wall. Our first competitor to take it on this tournament, and he is up and in one. Now for the Deadly Flying Shoot. He launches. He jumps. Worker of Meme is on it. He save jumps. No, he misses it. Worker of Meme had the perfect save jump right there. He meleeed in midair, not sure if that threw him off, but look at this. He melees. Oh, he was so close. He had that. I cannot believe he wasn't able to get back onto it. Uh, I'm extremely excited for this tournament. I think going into last tournament, just it's a new game. Uh, a lot of people weren't as prepared. Like it, it's new, like they got to get used to it. And I think we've had some time to get used to it. But I think this tournament's going to see a lot more success. I think uh, last tournament we saw Stage 2 was kind of a bloodbath. Um, but I think we're going to see a handful of competitors getting through Stage 2. Um, and I honestly think Stage 3 is beatable. I think we could see maybe one, maybe two uh, final stages this tournament and hopefully see somebody on top of it. But I think it's going to be a really good tournament and uh, let's see what happens. 
Well, we had a final stage appearance on the second Halo 5 tournament. Maybe it'll happen here in the second Halo Infinite tournament. Muck0135 is on the course right now, going for the grapple. And a very nice grapple right there. He is on to the gear grind. This obstacle, you gotta be very careful that you don't get bumped by any of these little notches or that you don't walk off. Oh my goodness, that was quite unfortunate for Muck. He is our first gear grind victim. But now we're moving on to a very important competitor. This is Internet. Halo Ninja Warrior would be impossible without this guy. So our German competitor, the, the hopes are high for him. Right now he's on the step slider doing a little, oh, ve landing very low. He's doing a little tea bag after each step, making sure he's standing up, but he is getting very low on these steps. Now for the grapple. He's got the grapple hook and he grapples no rope. It disappeared, but he made it across. Now internet is on to the gear grind. This is the jump right here. You got to step back a little bit. These are very thin gears, so you don't want to be like Muck and slightly sidestep. You will fall off very quickly. Internet goes for the dismount, lands very low, but he is on to the turret jumps. Here's a quick look at the stats for this obstacle in its history. Internet right now is on the first one taking his time. He jumps the second one, but he's not able to grab onto it. And Internet is the first person to fail the turret jumps in over 10 years. Two tournaments ago, we said goodbye to Halo 5 with an epic finale as Stray Felix, Weapon Mat, and Fireball all reached the final stage. The switch to Halo Infinite produced quite the learning curve as Fireball was the only one of those three who defeated Stage 1 last tournament. Him and Joey were the two who made it to Stage 3, but both of them went out on the ultra crazy cliffhanger. Shockingly, Fireball and Joey are the only two jumpers who cleared Stage 1 in both of the last two tournaments, meaning nine of the Stage 2 competitors from Tournament 26 were not on Stage 2 in Tournament 25. Among that group were two PC newcomers, Free MMO Direct and Fragile NW, who, alongside returning veterans like Patty Freakin, are spearheading the PC jumping revolution on this course. I definitely am interested to see how guys like MMO and Fragile, all the new infinite jumpers do, as well as, you know, some of the Halo 5 stars and even, you know, the old veterans. I feel like everyone's starting to settle down to the new game and become more experienced, but the course is also getting harder, so I'm interested to see how things uh, play out. Now we are on to our first returning competitor of the tournament. Hi, I'm Galactic made his debut on the first Halo Infinite tournament where he failed this jump right here. He's already done better than the last tournament. I also didn't recognize that the second eye was actually an eye. I think I called him Hilm Galactic. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's Hi, I'm Galactic. So I was, uh, I was informed that I was mispronouncing his gamer tag last tournament, but Hi, I'm Galactic is racing through the gear grind right now. Oh, he's racing too fast and he hits his head and gets spat back out into the water. Still a personal best. Following that, we had our second turret jumps failure of the tournament, TK Snow 8, who was followed shortly by Populous Hen. Then we had Dottie, who couldn't get a grapple on the step slider. And then O'Melly was actually doing a really good job getting across the turrets, but did not make it to the fourth one and came up short. And that brings us to competitor number 10. This is Cursed. Cursuade, Cursued. He's had. A lot of different gamer tags, but the last time we saw him was in Tournament 21 when he overshot the trampoline on the Dragon Glider. Let's see how Cursed can do today. Making his big return. He's very excited to be back in the Halo world, whether it's jumping, basketball, all that type of stuff. You know, he was absent for quite a while, but he's trying to make his return now. Cursed looking really good so far on the first couple obstacles. Let's see if he can get through this gear grind. Big dismount, but he's got it. Cursed is now on to the turret jumps. He's gonna get on to the first one. He's got the second one. He's got a nice pace going right here. He's got the final turret. Cursed with a minute left is on to the jump Hankai. This obstacle is in its 10th tournament now as Cursed gets into it. Over 300 times this obstacle has been attempted. And if he can get through it, he will be the 240th clear of the jump Hankai, and he is. Cursed is on to the crooked wall. 
Can he get it? Oh, the terrible jump curse comes up short on the crooked wall. And we have yet another competitor out on this deadly obstacle. Look at him. He just... I can't tell if he jumped too early. He just didn't get the height that he needed. Cursed. Still with a pretty good run by his standards. But he is out on the crooked wall. And that brings us to the returning competitor, Robotic Pi. We are seeing a lot of competitors who are making their second appearance with their first being Tournament 26. Because Halo Infinite brought a lot of new competitors. And as you can see, Robotic Pi is a PC player. Let's see how he does. Oh, a weird jump going from the third to the fourth step, but he's got it. And a nice grapple. He launches into the sky. And Robotic Pie is on to the gear grind. Rocking the pink armor. You love to see it. He has gotten through the gear grind with no real troubles. Now it is time for the turret jumps. He's on to the first one. Gets to the second. He's got the third and the fourth. Robotic Pi is on to the jump Kai, also with about a minute left. Seems to be the typical pace for our competitors right now. He is going to go around the outside, just like most people have been doing. Now the dismount. He goes for it. Robotic Pi, he is on to the crooked wall. Cursed just failed it. Can he do it? We've only seen one other competitor get by it so far. Robotic Pi, he's got the save jump. And he goes to the dismount. He's got it. Robotic Pi is our second competitor onto the warped wall. He is not up it in one. Can he get up it in two? No. Robotic Pi down to 25 seconds. Still time if he gets up it now. And he does. He is on to the flying shoot. He launches. He jumps. Oh, he jumped way too late. And Robotic Pi fails the same obstacle that he did in the last tournament. Still a pretty good start to his career. Two tournaments, two flying shoot failures. Now we are on to Wild Sasuke 67. In the last tournament, he went out on the reverse thrust. He had the technique right. He just thrust it a little bit too late. And now he is going on the step slider. Wild Sasuke gets to the fourth step. Now for the grapple. He goes for it. He grapples. And Wild Sasuke comes up short. He got the grapple, but he didn't make it. We're going to have to take a closer look at that one. Oh, he hits his head. He hit his head on that pole, which knocked him down. And it cut off his momentum. That is extremely unfortunate for Wild Sasuke. And almost a freak accident way to fail that obstacle. Now we are on to Eternal Flame. He is back for his second appearance. In the last tournament, he did not get a good bounce on the jump hang Kai. Now Eternal Flame... He's on the step slider. Not gonna lie, I, I, don't, I haven't been paying too much attention to the uh, to the armors yet, like each competitor's armor style or color, but Eternal Flames, he's, he's looking pretty sleek, pretty smooth. I like his design right now. He might be the style savant early in the tournament. Eternal Flame races through the first two obstacles. He's already onto the turrets. And Eternal Flame, oh, he's going to jump on top of the turrets. Eternal Flame, the first person to try that this tournament, and he does it, saving him a ton of time. Now Eternal Flame is going to go through the inside of the Jump Hang Kai. First time we are seeing that this tournament. Eternal Flame is on to the Crooked Wall. Can he get it? He jumps, he gets a very late jump and sticks the landing on the Crooked Wall, and he makes the dismount. Now for the warp Wall, he's up and in one. Eternal Flame is racing through the course right now. Can he get the flying shoot? He gets a save jump. He goes for the dismount, and Eternal Flame is on to the Lumberjack Climb. The first person to beat the flying shoot this tournament, and he still has all the time in the world. Eternal Flame is climbing fast, and he is our first competitor to move on to stage two in tournament 27 and 30 seconds left. That is the third time in Halo Ninja Warrior history that someone cleared with at least 30 seconds left on the clock. What a phenomenal run from the second time competitor. He is our first person moving on to stage two. Following that, we had a weird collection of L's and I's take on the turret jumps. He tried to hop on top of them, and it did not work out. 
After that, it was Dylan TD who got the grapple and somehow it disconnected. He fell into the water. J Monster Post came up short of the third step. And then we had Dre Links who got a jump to the second turret, wasn't able to grab onto it. <laughs> uh, this gamer tag cut guy <laughs> failed the second step. And then we had Nerd Herd who missed the grapple. A lot of great gamer tags going on there, but now we are moving on to another returning competitor. This is Wolf Ninja 1225 back for his eighth appearance, still looking for his first ever stage one clear. He had a heartbreaking failure inside the Jump Hang Kai last tournament. Let's see how he does today. Wolf Ninja hopping through the step slider. He's rocking the energy sword. He's trying to make it feel like it's still Halo 4. He gets the grapple. He grapples onto the pole that holds the big support circle thing. But anyways, he's onto the gear grind. Wolf Ninja keeping a good pace so far. Time for the dismount. Wolf Ninja has got it. He is on to the turret jumps. Running with the energy sword. He goes for the first turret. He grabs it. Lines up for the second one. He's got the second. He's got the third. Come on, Wolf Ninja, let's go. He's got the fourth. And he's got the dismount. Now this is the obstacle. He failed last tournament. Can he do it? Yes, he can. This time he's going to go around the outside. He learned from his mistake in tournament 26. Now for the dismount. Wolf Ninja, he's got it. The crooked wall up next. He goes for it. He gets very low. He somehow manages to get on, and he makes the dismount. Now for the warped wall. He's going to get up it in one. Now the flying shoot. Can Wolf Ninja pull it off? He jumps. And no, he's not able to get a save jump. He goes sailing over it. And that flying shoot is an absolute menace. So far on Halo Infinite, this obstacle has been attempted 36 times and only defeated 14 times. We've seen 22 failures on it between last tournament and this tournament already. But our next competitor would love to get a shot at the flying shoot and to improve over last tournament. Making his sixth appearance is the veteran Tricky Cyrus. Tricky made his first appearance in Tournament 22, where he made it to the final obstacle of Stage 1. In all of the next three tournaments, Tricky defeated Stage 1 and slowly progressed each time on the second stage. In Tournament 25, he had an amazing save on the double pinch, but sadly, he could not defeat the wall lift. In the last tournament, Tricky suffered only his second failure on Stage 1, going out on the reverse thrust. Now, after Tricky's first setback, we will see if he can recover and clear stage one for his fourth time. That span of three straight stage one clears in a row on Halo 5 was very impressive, and you hope that last tournament was just a fluke while trying to adjust to the new game and adjust to new Halo Infinite equipment. He gets through the step slider this time. Now Tricky Cyrus is on to the jump Hankai. He bounces and he is into it. He is going to be one of the rare few who goes through the inside. Tricky Cyrus is on to the crooked wall. Replacing the thrust reverse from last tournament. Can he do better than he did in tournament 26? Yes, he can. Tricky Cyrus is on to the warped wall, not up it in one. He does get up it in two. Now his first time taking on the flying shoot ever. Tricky Cyrus gets a save jump, and Tricky Cyrus is on to the Lumberjack climb. He's got 25 seconds left. A lot of time here. Tricky Cyrus going to be a little cautious. Now he's picking up the pace. Tricky Cyrus is going to move on to stage two with 14.6 seconds left. Nice, Tricky. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Hold on. Hold on. Welcome Hold back. On. That run was nice and smooth and the perfect way to bounce back from a failure. Tricky Cyrus is now joining Eternal Flame on Stage 2. Now, since this is the second Halo Infinite tournament, it's time for an early look at potential Infinite All-Stars. Starting off, our two competitors who got to Stage 3 last tournament, Joey Davis and Fireball, they are the current front runners. Some other competitors who are off to a good start are Free MMO, Patty Freakin, Fragile NW, and Atlantic Champ all got deep into Stage 2 last tournament. 
The rest of the people who got to stage two last tournament, Killer, Raw, Gotenks, Walnut, and Sane are in the running. But some competitors who need to bounce back are Hunter, Weapon Mat, Strafe, and a Cobra. I think there's going to be, you know, some people who are really dedicated and they're just going to have to be really consistent to get to that level, you know, of being an all-star. To be an all-star, you have to, you know, consistently plays well in these tournaments. And I think some of the PC guys will definitely have a chance to, you know, do so on this, you know, new game. And even if your name was not mentioned, there is still no reason that you cannot become an infinite all-star. All that it takes is consistency and determination. Right now, Nicolo making his second appearance, the competitor from Greece, and he gets through the first obstacle with ease. Just like Tricky Cyrus, it was the reverse thrust that took him out last tournament. Uh, one unnecessary jump there on the gear grind, and Nicolum does save it. Now he is onto the second gear. And he's got the dismount. Now the turret jumps. Can our PC player from Greece do something special here? Onto the third turret. He's making quick work of these turrets. He grabs the fourth and makes the dismount. Now for the jump, Hank Kai. He did this in the last tournament. Nikolum is going around the outside. Nice and slow. He is down to 50 seconds now. He gets that dismount. Now the crooked wall. This is the obstacle position that he fell last tournament. He gets on to the landing. Can he make the dismount? Yes, he can. It's an improvement for Nikolum. He's up the warped wall in one. Now for the flying shoot. He launches, he gets a quick jump, and he sticks it and makes the dismount. Nikolum showing off the skills. That was amazing. He is on to the Lumberjack climb, and he has a very good chance to clear this stage pending any mistakes. Come on, Nikolum. He will be the first Greek competitor ever if he does it. Come on, he's got it with, oh, he hit the landmine. Come on, 8.3 seconds left. Wow, there was a... A little sketchiness towards the end of that run, but Nikolum with 8.3 seconds is our third competitor to move on to stage two. That was an impressive run from the second time competitor playing on his PC. He joins Tricky Cyrus and Eternal Flame on stage two. That's two new competitors on the second stage, but our next group of competitors were not as lucky, including Cheeks, who even with his cheats couldn't get through the gear grind. You Mad Clown failed pretty much the same jump. He tried to go a little lower on the first gear, didn't help him. El Booker Taco failed the turret jumps. I think that run was a protest run. Not sure exactly what that was about. Quien Kien failed the turret jumps. And then Yuki got onto the second gear, but hit his head, falling into the water. And now we are on to Kyle Shambeg 2, hoping to get his first stage one clear. He made his debut in Tournament 26, where he went out on the flying shoot. So overall, a pretty successful newcomer appearance for Kyle. Now it is time to take on Tournament 27. First up, the step slider. We've been seeing these competitors making their second appearance have a lot of success. Kyle does fall into that category. We'll see what he can pull off here. He's on the gear grind. Makes the transition to the second gear. He's hopping across, and he makes the dismount with ease. Now for the turret jumps. Kyle is going to grab onto the first turret. He's got the second, the third. He jumps for the fourth, and he's got it. Kyle is through the turret jumps and onto the jump hang Kai. He jumps, bounces, gets into it, and Kyle is gonna risk it on the inside. Going for speed. And he's gonna take his time lining up this dismount, but he is on to the crooked wall. Kyle Shambeg, can he do it? He jumps early, he's low, and Kyle Shambeg is out on the crooked wall. Not the second appearance that Nikolum and Eternal Flame had, but that just goes to show how difficult it is to keep this up. Now we are on to Caden ETN. In the last tournament, he had an amazing run that unfortunately ended up being a timeout on the Lumberjack Climb. But still, out of the 19 people who failed the flying shoot last tournament, Caden was not one of them. So far, he's looking good, getting through the step slider. Now he is on to the gear grind. If Caden could just pick up the pace a little bit compared to his last run, but do everything else the same, 
Who knows? He could make it to stage two for his first time. But right now, he's got to get through the turrets. Caden is trying to... He's going to jump on top of them. He's got the third one. And Caden overshoots the fourth turret. And he is out on the third obstacle of stage one. He went for the risky technique. And it did not pay off. Well, next up, we have Jun Sato Cyan. He was the last newcomer to take on stage one last tournament. And he didn't even try the Bridge of Blades. I don't know if he was scared of it. It, it went down as a Bridge of Blades failure because he did complete the grapple swing, but he didn't even attempt it. He just ran off the platform. But let's see if he can avoid the mental mistakes here today. Jun Sato, legendary Sasuke competitor. I don't think this is the same Jun Sato that actually competes in Sasuke. So maybe Cyan is, is the best thing to call him. Cyan, oh, I think his toes might have dipped in the water there, but he gets the grapple. And he is onto the gear grind. He's going at a slower pace right now. Definitely not Jun Sato in that case. But right now, he's just trying to take a methodical approach to make sure he gets through the obstacles. He hits his head on the gear grind, but manages to save it. Now he goes for the dismount, and Jun Sato Cyan is onto the turret jumps where Caden just failed. Oh, he's going to try to land on top of the first one, but he's smart enough to grab onto it. But he can't grab the second one. And back-to-back -back turret failures from our returning competitors. Well, our next competitor was a returning competitor. Gaming Brando, he could not defeat the Crooked Wall. After that, we saw Drew Breezy44 try to copy the technique that one guy used last tournament. It's actually illegal now, but he failed anyway. Mr. Toasty came up short of the fourth turret. Mondayborn, another returning competitor, he tried to get on top of the second turret after grabbing it. That did not work. Nick Weasel couldn't get his grapple to connect. The Wombat24 had a weird idea for the gear grind that did not pay off. Gunner338 didn't even know what was happening. And then Random Words hit his head on the gear grind, failing the second obstacle. But next up, we've got a competitor who had a big success on the first Halo Infinite tournament. Fragile NW is moving on to the second stage. The PC players showing up early in Tournament 26. Fragile was the second newcomer to clear Stage 1 in the last tournament, right after free MMO Direct. MMO is going to be up next, but right now, Fragile looking to back up his newcomer performance. He is running onto the gear grind, jumps for it. Fragile NW, he had been waiting a very long time to get on Halo Ninja Warrior and Halo Infinite gave us the ability to put PC players into this competition. Now Fragile is jumping across the tops of the turrets. We know it's dangerous, but it saves time and Fragile completes the turret jumps. Now he bounces into the jump hang Kai and he's going around the outside. Fragile looking very smooth on the course so far. Can he get the flying shoot? He runs for it. He gets a good jump and a good dismount. Fragile is onto the warped wall, not up it in one. Can he get up it on his second attempt? Yes, he can. Now for the flying shoot. He beat it in the last tournament. He launches, he jumps, Fragile. He got onto it, but he didn't save jump. And Fragile and W is out on stage one. He did it perfectly. All that he had to do right there was take a save jump and reposition himself, and he could have pulled it off. But instead, Fragile NW is out on stage one for his first time. But next up, we have his good friend, Free MMO Direct. And MMO! He is going to be the first person to clear stage one on Halo Infinite. Being the first newcomer to clear stage one on a brand new Halo game is pretty exciting. And he got deep into stage two as well, failing the metal spin. And look at how fast he got through the first obstacle right there. MMO onto the turret jumps. He is going to do just what Fragile did and skip across the tops. And Fra or free MMO is on to the jump hang Kai. Free and Fragile. It's I'm going to be honest, it's kind of hard to not mix up their gamer tags a little bit. They had a very similar story in Tournament 26, but Free MMO is on the Crooked Wall and quickly off of it. Now the Warped Wall, he's up and in one. MMO looking good so far. This is where his friend just failed. He launches, he jumps, 
MMO takes the save jump and he is moving on to the Lumberjack Climb. He's trying to go two for two on stage one to start his career. And look at that free MMO direct. Not the fastest time, but it was a very fast time. 29.3 seconds left. And MMO is looking really good here on Halo Infinite. Excellent performance, both in Tournament 26 and a great start to Tournament 27. He is our fourth competitor to move on to Stage 2. Very happy for MMO to avenge his friend Fragile, but now we are on to Elite MKB making his 10th appearance. This guy has been around for a long time. His last appearance was in Tournament 24 when he failed the Falling Plank. I remember this guy. I mean, he's been a legend on Hunter's Course for a very long time. He competed on Halo Ninja Warrior like back in Tournament 2 or something like that, I think. I think he might have been like the one half-pipe attack failure or something like that. So he's, uh, you know, he's a little long in the tooth when it comes to the jumpers out there. Maybe not age-wise, but... Oh, I was going to talk about experience, but the experience didn't pay off at all there. Elite MKB out on the gear grind. Wow. You would think he would uh, know how to do a jump like that at this point in his career, but, you know, he's trying to get back into jumping, so we'll, uh, we'll lay off of him this time around. Anyway, next up is Mighty Max 80 making his ninth appearance. This veteran had a shockingly early exit last tournament, failing the Bridge of Blades. And this came after he failed the TIE Fighter in Tournament 25. Before that, it was two Stage 3 appearances in a row. So Mighty Max is trying to get back to his old form. He's off to a good start getting through the Step Slider. Now for the Gear Grind. Don't pull an elite. He gets a nice big jump, makes it across. Mighty Max goes for the dismount, and he's got it now for the turret jumps. If he can beat this obstacle, he will improve over his run from last tournament. He's on to the third turret. Big jump to the fourth, and an easy jump to the dismount. Now for the jump, Hankai. Can Mighty Max do it? Yes, he can. He's into it. He's going to take it safe and slow around the outside. I think that's a song reference. Mighty Max is through the jump, Hank Kai. Now he is on to the crooked wall. Can he get it? Mighty Max goes for it. And yes, he's on to it. Can he make the dismount? He does. Time for the warped wall. Mighty Max is up and in one. Now for the flying shoot. Can Mighty Max do it? This is it. Make or break. Mighty Max comes up short. And he fails stage one for his third tournament in a row. Mighty Max just waited a little too long on the jump and lost enough steam to come up short and had no chance at completing that obstacle. Well, following that, we had changed Lemur, who changed directions on the grapple swing there and failed. Solicis Dysax? I, I don't know how to say that name, but he failed the gear grind. And then we had... The veteran, Ninty7 Grizzly, is going crazy at the starting line. He went out on the crooked wall, as he has many times in his career. But now we are on to J Stud Roblox. A newcomer on the course. He's on the gear grind right now. You know, the Roblox jumpers, I got nothing but respect for the people who grinded out on Roblox. All the Roblox jumpers out there, you know, props to you guys. It's great when you see them start to come to Halo and try to dabble in some halo jumping so if this guy is a is a true roblox stud let's test his his skills here on halo right now he is looking really good getting through the turrets very easily this next obstacle not quite as easy can he do it he bounces a big bounce and j stud is going to go around the outside he is going even slower than necessary on an already slow portion of the obstacle. But J-Stud is going to line up the dismount and... Oh no, he comes up short! J-Stud Roblox out on the jump, Hankai. What an unfortunate way for the newcomer to go out. But next up, we've got Toon V101. Another newcomer. This one coming to us from Thailand. Let's see how he does. Going for speed on the step slider. Done very nicely, just about 10 seconds. Now for the gear grind. So 
far so good. Go for the transfer, and he makes the skip, going up one gear higher. What do you call those on the gear? The whole thing is the gear. I don't know what to call the individual pegs, but anyways. Oh, look at this. He's going to, okay, he jumps on top of the first turret. Now he's transitioned to grabbing the turrets. Hey, great technique right there. I think that worked beautifully. Tun V101 onto the jumping Kai. Not a good bounce, and he comes up short. Back-to-back -back newcomers out on the Jump Hang Kai. But our next competitor is no newcomer. This is Super Ninja Jake 2. This veteran of the course suffered a stage one failure last tournament on the thrust reverse. But before that, in tournament 25, he was on stage two. That was his second time on stage two. He cleared stage one as a newcomer back in tournament 23. So Super Ninja Jake... Trying to get back to his old form. He has yet to fail stage one twice in a row. We'll see what happens today. Super Ninja Jake has got the dismount on the gear grind. Now for the turret jumps. Oh, he's going to stay on top. Super Ninja Jake with the speedy technique. He breaks the fourth turret, not the fourth wall. He is on to the jump Hank high. And Super Ninja Jake is going to show off his ninja-ness going through the inside. And now he is on to the Crooked Wall. Super Ninja J goes for it. He's low and he comes up short on the Crooked Wall. His leg bends. That looks so painful. Oh, Super Ninja Jake, what an unfortunate failure. No! Oh, oh. Get around, man. Oh, that. Oh, ah, ah. Okay, something about that did not sound healthy. Let's go, G. Come on. All right. Making his 12th appearance is the veteran Z Master. Z has been a recurring competitor ever since Tournament 7, but had his first breakout in Tournament 14 when he made it to Stage 3. After competing in all four Master Chief Collection tournaments, Z did not make his Halo 5 debut until Tournament 20. In the regeneration era, Z showcased his consistency, clearing stage one three times in a row, which included his second stage three appearance in tournament 24. Sadly, Z was unable to compete in the final Halo 5 competition, but made his return on Halo Infinite, failing the flying shoot last tournament. Now, Z has cleared stage one in five out of his previous 11 appearances, so today, he aims to get his clear rate back to 50%. Z, definitely one of the easy competitors to root for. He's just a very nice guy, so we would love to see him succeed here in Tournament 27. He had that streak of three straight Stage 1 clears. I don't think there was anyone in the community who wasn't happy for him during that time. But he missed Tournament 25, failed Stage 1 last tournament, so... We haven't seen him on stage two since tournament 24. Now would be a great day for him to get back there. Z Master is through the gear grind and now on to the turret jumps. Z is playing on PC now that he's on Halo Infinite and look at him jumping across the tops of the turrets. Very impressive from Z Master. He's on to the jump Hank Kai. He bounces and Z Master gets kicked into the water. The veteran. Gets such a good bounce and he actually hits the inside. Look at this, he hit the corner and it bounced him into the water. That is a shame for Z Master and a terrible way to fail that obstacle. He's had bad luck with the Jump Hank Kai in the past. I think Halo Infinite's a great game. I think we got the Halo formula down once again and I'm real excited to be back competing. Um, I'm really not okay with how my Halo 5 journey went, but we're going to change that in Halo Infinite. Back for his 14th appearance is the Xbox 360 All-Star, Drago is back. Drago has been competing since the course began and was the first competitor to ever reach the final stage. He also became the first person with two final stage appearances, but he never achieved total victory. While he was considered the greatest competitor across the first 10 tournaments, his gut-wrenching failure in Tournament 11 changed everything. After failing Stage 1 for his first time, Drago took a long break from Halo Ninja Warrior. 
since Tournament 11, Drago has only made three appearances, all of which were also Stage 1 failures. His most recent run was in Tournament 22, where he failed the Crooked Wall, but now Drago has a chance to renew his career on Halo Infinite and pursue the steak dinner he's always dreamed of. Drago is back. I still want to call him Drago is sick. I don't know if there's any correlation to the sick or the back in terms of his skill level, but I've seen him practice for this tournament and I know he is capable of beating the stage. He has already made short work of the step slider and now he is on to the gear grind. Still not now. Uh oh. What's going on? Can't get you chips right now, but you can get your juice. Drago having some issues with the kids. Stop the time. Start crying. Stop the time. This really ain't the time, dog. Oh no, this has got to be one of the worst distractions I've ever heard a competitor having to deal with, but Drago is still getting through the stage. He jumped across all the tops of the turrets, and he's into the jump hang Kai. <laughs> Don't say that. Gotta be some sort of record. Right, first, per first person to tend to their children while running a ninja court. <laughs> I do not envy Drago's position right now. He makes the crooked wall look like a piece of cake. And he's up the warped wall in one. Drago is back. Is onto the flying shoe. Can he do it? Drago gets a save jump, but he has too much momentum. And he fails stage one again. He still has yet to get back to stage two since tournament 10. And I thought he was going to be able to do it this time. I don't know if having to be a parent was making that run more difficult, but that flying shoot is so tough either way. Um, parenting, it's just an everyday thing now. Um, but other than that, I really enjoy running the course. Uh, I'm a little disappointed I didn't make the first stage. I was really shooting or fastest time today. That's kind of why I'm speed running it, not taking my time on it. And I practiced a lot, probably all week, and felt real confident going into it. Just flying shoot has always been kind of 50-50 for me, so it's just unfortunate. Well, regardless of a failure on a very tough obstacle, I think Drago is proving that he still has his skills, and I think he's going to be back on stage two sooner rather than later. With four of the first 50 competitors moving on to stage two, this redesigned first stage is proving its difficulty while the newer jumpers are also showcasing their impressive abilities. With two first timers already on stage two, Halo Infinite is continuing to showcase young talent just like last tournament. In the next episode, we will see how the increased experience in the final 50 competitors impacts their runs and if the top veterans can continue to hang with the young crowd. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like, a comment, and hit that subscribe button. If you ever want to compete on Halo Ninja Warrior, make sure you message me, Smokey Massacre, on Xbox Live or Discord. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time on Halo Ninja Warrior.